climate resilient cropping systems are required to adapt to the increasing threats of climate change projected for Africa and to better manage current climate variability. Conservation agriculture has been proposed among technologies that are climate smart. For a cropping system to be labeled climate smart, it has to deliver three benefits. One, it has to adapt to the effects of climate and be of increased resilience. Two, it has to mitigate climate effects, reducing greenhouse gas emissions. And finally, it has to sustainably increase productivity and income. Conservation agriculture is a farming system that maintains a permanent soil cover to ensure its protection, avoid soil tillage, and cultivates a diverse range of plant species to improve soil conditions, reduce land degradation, and increase water and nutrient use efficiency. In many countries, intensive crop production has depleted the soil, thus jeopardizing our ability to maintain future production in these areas. It's been an uphill task to get farmers to change their mindset for always practicing farming in the old way without regard of adapting better practices for higher yields. On today's episode of Climate Smart Agriculture, we travel to Tharakanithi County in Mara area. Here, we visit a farm where they have transformed their farming from direct soil planting using grow bags, which helps in conserving water for the plants and prevention of diseases. Meet Stephen Kamau, the chairperson of Eagles Esteem Youth Group. He says they formed the group in 2012 and currently has 12 members. They later then started agribusiness venture in 2014 for horticultural production. Eh, shughuli yetu hasa ni ukulima. Eh, lengo la kuanzisha hiki kikundi eh, upande wa ukulima ilikuwa mojawapo ya miradi ambayo kikundi cha Esteem kilikuwa kimewaza na kikafikiria kuanzisha. Eh, lengo lake kuu ni kuwa tuliona kuna kuna mwanya wa ukulima watu wanashindwa sana hasa vijana wanashindwa mambo ya ukulima e, sana sana ukulima wa hold culture inashinda vijana sana so tuliona kuna mwanya pale ndiposa tukaingilia hiyo kazi tulianza ukulima mwaka wa 2014 ambapo tuli kiria ni njia gani tunaweza tukasaidia kikundi chetu kama cha Esteem kuweza kukua tukaomba mkopo kupitia Youth Fund wakatufaidi na greenhouse mbili kutoka Amiran As the chairperson of Esteem Eagles Youth Group tells us of the benefits they have achieved through agriculture Manufaa ambayo tumepata tumeongeza mazao ya ukulima kikundi kimeweza kupata e, faida nyingi kulingana na profit ambayo tunapata kutokana na ukulima With the changes of weather patterns across the world many farmers are being urged to focus on climate smart agriculture techniques to boost production on all weather seasons The Eagles Esteem Group has taken up conservation agriculture to another level where they use grow bags to produce horticultural crops such as capsicum which are in production all year round. Karatasi tulianza mwaka wa 2015. Na kile ambacho kilifanya tuanze mambo ya makaratasi tulikuwa tunatumia the conventional method uh, greenhouse kawaida kulima tukitumia mchanga kawaida uh, kizao cha kwanza tulivuna vizuri sana kizao cha pili tulikumbwa na hitilafu kubwa ya kupata magonjo ya mchanga so we, mimea ya kizao cha pili yote ilikauka karibu yote ilikauka tukapatwa na challenge sana tukaenda kwa ofisi za agriculture eh tukauliza ni vipi tunaweza tuka tukageuza e, hali yetu ili tuweze kulima za, ni, tupate mavuno zaidi na tusipate challenge ya mchanga ambayo tumepata 
wakatuelezea vile tunaweza tukatafuta eh, hizi pots za kupanda na ndipoza tulienda tukazinunua tukaanza kuitumia na kulingana na vile tulizitumia mara ya kwanza tumeona eh, big improvement pot inatusaidia kuwa tunaweza tukaipanda any time eh, of the year si hatuna wakati kuna kiangazi na wakati kuna mnyesha utakuza throughout because it is a controlled system Steven Kamau elaborates on the best crops to plant in a grow bag mimea yote ambayo iko na fibrous eh, root sio tap root unaweza ukaikuza kwa pot eh, sababu ni kuwa eh, tap root itaenda chini na itatoboa hiyo karatasi but fibrous itakula chakula ambayo iko pale kwa pot The grow bag techniques is best referred for organic farming as it helps the crop to grow consuming its own nutrients without competition from weeds as the soil is tamed. Tunatumia mbolea kutoka kwa wakulima eh mbolea ya mbuzi eh hiyo ndio tunachanganya kiwango 50-50 eh mchanga 50 mbolea 50 tunajaza kwa pot ndipoza mmea uweze kupata enough eh, maniwa wakati inaendelea kukua The group has been using grow bags since 2015 This is after an intensive research on how to maximize profits They have extended their farming practices to using soil less hydroponic farming to curb diseases Tulifanya uperuzi wetu tukajua tunaweza tukalima eh, mimea bila kutumia mchanga ambapo tunatumia vitu kama e, mawe ya kwe, mawe pellets mchanga wa kujenga nyumba the volcanic e, soil na pia hizi coffee husk tunaweza tukazitumia kukuza mimea yetu so tulimweza kuwa na teknolojia hiyo ambayo tumeweka kwa greenhouse na ndiyo tunaitumia in this technique The Eagles Esteem Group has over 500 grow bags which are used in production of capsicum and kales. Our pots tumeziweka upande wa nje kwa sababu e, kwa greenhouse tumetumia teknolojia mpya kulingana na kiasi cha chamba ambacho tuko nacho. Spacing between the grow bags is dependent on the irrigation system and light availability. The soil is reusable and a proper mixing with organic manure which is usually cost effective. Spacing ambayo tumefanya ya pilipili hoho tumefanya spacing ya 60 cm kulingana na drip system yetu na ili mmea uweze kuwa na enough eh, light na wakati unaendelea kukua uweze kuwa na afya njema na kuzuia magonjo kama dumping off ambayo uletwa wakati mimea imeshikana zaidi. Huo mchanga unaweza kutumia mara kadhaa. Sio lazima ubadilishe kwa kila mmea. Juu kibadilisha kwa kila mmea itagarimu zaidi. So kile ambacho huwa tunafanya zaidi tunamwaga huo mchanga tunachanganya na manure vizuri then tunairudisha kwa pot. Watering and irrigation of crops on the grow bags is dependent on the type of crop you want to cultivate. For vegetables, the best method is drip irrigation as one can control the amount of water for the crop. Mimea ambayo tunaikuza eh, iko very sensitive sana kutumia maji ya sprinkler. Maji ya kunyunyizia matawi juu. So a drip system ambayo tunatumia inanyunyizia kwa mizizi kwenyewe. So e, mmea unapata maji direct na haiwezi ka affect to, e, leaves ambao huwa inaaffectiwa sana na magonjwa. Grow bags have several benefits such as fewer diseases, less water wastage, good crop management and maximized yields. Tukitumia the drip system irrigation maji inanyunyiziwa kwa pot direct so atukui na waste yote na huku katikati wa pots pia tunaweza tukapanda mimea mingine kama gorgeous 
kama eh, tikitiki maji hizo ndio tunapanda sana pot inasaidia eh, ya kwanza ukinyunyizia maji maji hataweza kupotea eh, kwa ile pot itaweza kuconserve maji kwa muda wa siku 3 4 5 ikilinganishwa na maji kinyunyizwa chini kwa mchanga so itaweza kusaidia kulingana na hali ya anga vile inaendelea eh, kwa sasa kama hapa pale tuko sisi tunapata maji siku tatu kwa wiki na unaona mimea yetu iko na maji unaweza kufikiria kumenyesha kila wakati kuna dawa tu huwa tunanyunyizia kwa mizizi e, utaweka hiyo dawa kwa tank na itaweza kupitia kwa drip system ikiingia kwa pots so ina tracishia kazi like with any other farming technology the challenges that a farmer is likely to encounter when using grow bags serikali ilipiga marufuku utumiaji wa plastic hizi plastic bags so kwa sasa zimekuwa very expensive uweze zipata ziko gali sana wakati unazinunua lazima kikundi kikuwe kimejipanga vizuri ama mwenye anataka kuifanya akuwa amejipanga vizuri ni posa aweze kuanzisha hiyo kazi e, la pili the drip system pia ni gali na inahitaji ukue umejipanga vizuri ndio uweze ku kuiweka with the eagles esteem youth group venturing into this climate smart technique steven kamau attest to the cost of investment being much but it is a reputable one to get started they spent 90000 kenyan shillings in purchasing 800 grow bags pot moja tulikuwa tunainunua shilingi 112 hiyo ni mwaka wa 2015 na tulinunua pots 800. So hapo ilitugarimu kiasi. E, lakini kulingana na mimea ambayo tumeweza kukuza imerudisha pesa zetu na tumeweza kufaidika zaidi. Grow bags can be used in any part of the country provided you have availability of water for irrigation purposes. We will be taking a short break but we will be back with more on climate smart technologies from the esteemed Eagles Youth Group. <laughs>